what's up you guys welcome back to another video so in today's video we are going to be testing out some new products if you watched my youtube shorts i did a mini ulta haul so i did pick up some product mainly all of the products from the new morphe holiday collection i also did grab the new nyx the face glue gripping primer as well as the setting spray so we have a bunch of new goodies here i think for foundation today in my last video, I mentioned I was going to try the one size medium dark tin, mixing it with my blue pigment from LA Girl. So we're going to do this concoction today and see how it looks as far as the base. But before we jump into the video, you guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's makeup look. All right, you guys, so really quick my face is washed i did my skincare but i wanted to swatch the new euphoric cream blush from morphe um this is one of the new shades that launched with their holiday kit in the shade staying neutral so i just wanted to swatch it on the skin on its own just to kind of see what it looks like i really honestly do love this shade because i feel like you don't see many neutral tone blushes. This is more of an everyday wearable shade. Um, I still have yet to use this blush palette from Revolution, which is the Mean Girls collab. But I think we're just going to go ahead and use the Morphe one since this is kind of, I mean, they're both new. But I'm trying to decide. Hmm. I'm trying to decide which eyeshadow palette, so I'm just going to show you guys, even though I briefly showed it in my shorts. This is the first palette crowd pleaser by Morphe, and these are very small and compact, which I really do like. So they don't come with a mirror, but this is what she looks like, and this is crowd pleaser. I love the two middle shades. And then I think my favorite, which is what I might use today this is party crush i'm sorry party crasher so this one is beautiful definitely giving cool tone vibes and then i also did grab the larger palette this is called shade thrower and there's 18 shades in this palette so i definitely purchased it for this green uh, matte shade, like this row is just very vampy and dark and fall, winter appropriate. I really do think that this looks good. I feel like Morphe does really good with eyeshadows in general. But I'm going to go ahead and prime the lids and kind of decide what... Oh, that stained me. Unless it was me rubbing it. But I'm going to decide what palette we're going to use today and then jump into the eye look. All right, you guys, so we're starting off with the Party Crasher eyeshadow palette. This retails for $12, and I'm going in with the shade Wild Night, and I'm going to blend that on the outer corner. Now, the eyeshadow palette um, that is the 18 pan shade thrower eyeshadow palette, that one is $21, but I am going to go over top with the shade in that palette called Fake Friend. And I'm just gonna kind of blend out a little bit of that cool tone um, at the top. This brush set is $28. It comes with two face brushes and three eye brushes. It also comes with like this little mini cloud cushion puff. So you can use it for liquids, creams, or powders. But um, I am gonna go ahead and like I mentioned, just kind of Diffuse out that that first shade with the shade called fake friend from the 18 pan eyeshadow palette Now this set also I'm sorry their holiday collection also came with two different um, Two different shades of their cream blush Those retail for $15 the liquid highlighter that I did not get is $12 each lip kit is $17 so there's a gloss lip duo and then a lip mousse duo um, and then like I said the two small palettes are $12 
So still very reasonably priced. Um, I did not feel like I needed both of the liquid, I'm sorry, both of the cream blushes because one of them is a more berry tone. I didn't really feel like I needed that one right now. I have a lot of berries, a lot of pinks, mauves, orange tones. So this neutral shade was definitely something different for me. Um, and then the last shade I'm taking in the inner corner is also from the 18 pan eyeshadow palette. And that shade is called That's Cold. Now when you look at it, it looks like a shimmery white but as you can see, it's more of like that iridescent. So it has some shifts of purple in there. Um, and this is pretty much what I created with the eye look. I am definitely going to have to dive more into the larger palette and the other smaller palette. But this is what we have. So I'm going to go pop on some lashes. All right, you guys. So this is the NYX the face glue gripping primer retails for nine dollars this is a lot smaller than what i thought it would be i don't know why i expected it to be any bigger uh, but this is a face glue gripping primer which hydrates and grips your makeup for up to 24 hours without the ick get all the grip none of the stickiness so i'm just going to apply that on the perimeters of my face i pretty much applied it all over now what I did end up doing as well is going in that um, in that T-zone area with the Secure the Blur from one size, just in those areas because this is not a blurring primer by NYX. So I did want to kind of blur out those pores a little bit on that, that cheek area. So here I did mix the one size full beat foundation in the shade medium dark tin neutral golden. I mixed that with the blue pigment from LA Girl. This to me worked out a lot better. Um, I do feel like his foundations either pull rosy or they pull more golden. Not really a true neutral or cool tone. So this is the best option to prevent buying two foundations. Also, you guys, I did go ahead and decide to blend the foundation out with the foundation brush that came in the Morphe brush set their holiday brush set very nice and soft brush um i don't see any streaking or anything with this brush so it worked very nicely it's a lot softer than i am typically used to you know used to with foundation brushes but it really got the job done um, i'm just gonna apply a little bit more in certain areas that i noticed that you know it needed a little bit more coverage but so far i think this worked out rather nicely Again, I feel like I prefer this than mixing the two foundation shades that I did in my first impressions of this foundation video. Um, so now we're going to go in with the Staying Neutral Blush from Morphe. Very pigmented. I did have like a little napkin in front of me where I was tapping off the excess, but this is a beautiful shade. Blended nicely, and I do feel that this is a wearable everyday shade for me. Um, what I noticed a little bit, there was a little bit of patchiness when applying the cream blush and cream bronzer. I noticed that Magdalene Janet, Janet also said that there was a little bit of patchiness with that NYX primer. Um, but it, it wasn't too crazy to where you couldn't fix it and blend it out. But that was something that I noticed when applying. So for concealer, I am using two shades from Hourglass. I have the shades Beach and sepia so sepia is a light medium neutral undertone and beach is medium with yellow undertone i did apply some of the concealer under that cream bronzer just to kind of clean up some of that i did drag it down a little bit too far but then also again i just felt like it looked a lot harsh um I think because the primer is it's a different texture from like the elf hydro grip um, is it called Hydro Grip? No, the Elf Power Grip and the Milk Hydro Grip. You know, all of those gripping primers that we've tried in the past. This one by NYX is definitely different. The texture is different. It's more stickier and thicker, I would say, than all of the other ones. So it is a learning curve with that primer, but I feel like we were able to kind of fix it and clean it up. This concealer, I don't remember it being this bright. So that was the shade Sepia. I feel like Beach would have worked <laughs> just fine. Um, but this is me just kind of blending everything out, mixing between different brushes. 
the Makeup by Mario Concealer Brush kind of helps get into those more tighter corners, like that inner corner, the outer corner by the eyes and the liner. Um, it just kind of helps to make it a little bit more sharp, clean it up. And so I'm going to take the Juvia's Place Loose Powder in the shade Coconut Flakes. I was already bright. And this powder took it a whole nother step <laughs> with the brightness, y'all. So you guys, last Saturday was my cousin's bridal shower slash little bachelorette party. Honestly, we didn't do too much, um, but... Those of us that are bridesmaids, this is my cousin that, like, y'all, we literally grew up together, taking baths together. Like, yeah, that was my cousin. <laughs> I mean, that's my cousin. Like, we were truly best friends growing up. Um, but we pretty much threw her, like, a little bridal shower, uh, did some cooking, laid it out, you know, invited some people. It was a really nice time. And then later on that night, after we cleaned up... Um, because we pretty much like rented out like a hotel suite where it was like a upstairs downstairs but we were able to like turn the whole downstairs into like you know they had the table laid out the chairs decorations the cake table all of that good stuff so it was a fun time but um later that night we went to this place called the game show out here and we pretty much like you go into like this studio and the host is there. We split it up into teams. It kind of felt like family feud almost. Like it was really, really fun. But that's pretty much all we did, y'all, um, for her. She actually gets married next Sunday. So I'm really excited. And she is trusting me to do my own makeup. Um, I clearly sit and do my makeup all day. So she was like, you can do your own makeup <laughs> for the wedding. But let me know, y'all, what are some nice tone blushes that you feel like a bridesmaid should wear? Honestly, this blush that I just tried for Morphe, the cream blush, I might have to take that with me. I don't want like a pink or orange or, you know what I mean? I don't want to do too much with the blush, but I feel like you still need blush. So let me know what's a good blush shade to go ahead and use for the wedding. Um, she does want us to have a red lip. So that is something that I'm thinking about. Like the blush can't do too much because we already have a red lip going on. But this is the lip liner by Morphe called Bite Me. I don't know for sure if they brought this color back when they relaunched the lip liners on Ulta's website, but Love this lip liner. Now we're going to go in with the two velvet mousse. I was just going to pick one shade, but I honestly wanted to do both shades. One is a little bit darker, so we're going to go in with that one first. And this one is actually a newer shade. So the first shade I went in with, which is the deeper one, is called Kiss Goodbye. It's described as a cool tone, medium brown. And then I'm going to go in the center with the shade Wifey, which is a cool tone nude. Very beautiful, very comfortable on the lips. Honestly, I'm just going to say it. I feel like Morphe killed this holiday launch, if I'm being very honest. So with the Lip Gloss Duo, there's two shades, of course. Hot Cocoa, which is a rich, cool tone brown with shimmering pearls. And then Unbothered is the light pink with opal, opal, blah, blah, opalescent pearls. Girl, good night. Now, the Hot Cocoa is putting me like that darker shade is putting me in the mindset of Fenty hot chocolate so yeah uh, that's what I'm thinking that's what I'm getting from that one but I'm gonna go in with the shade unbothered which is that light pink wow look at that y'all first swipe Morphe did it just uh, we just have to admit it Morphe Morphe made a good comeback okay um, so this lip combo though, beautiful. I love it. All right, you guys, this concludes the makeup look. I feel like everything came together very nicely. With, with makeup always, you're going to have to trust the process. What I ended up doing, because my under eyes were definitely way too bright, 
I use the wrong shade of concealer and then the coconut flake shade of the Juvia's Place powder is already bright. So I took my one size turn up the base powder in the shade medium 5G. I took my Morphe M554 which is just like a flat fluffy brush and I pressed that on the under eyes to tone down a little bit of that brightness. Um, again, if you are my foundation twin, medium dark tin with the LA Girl Blue Pigment obviously worked. Um, so I did not need to mix two different foundations. So unfortunately, his shades either pulled too golden or more pinky. Um, so that is what is going to have to work for me. As far as all of the Morphe products that I tried, the only thing that I did not get within the Morphe Holiday Launch was the holographic like liquid highlighter. I knew that that was something I was not going to use, so I didn't purchase. But as far as the palettes, everything worked very nicely together. This shade here looks like a shimmery white shade. But as you saw when I applied it in like that inner corner, it's pulling up like a purple iridescent type of shade. But overall, I feel like Morphe kills it with their eyeshadow palettes. This launch was beautiful. The Velvet Lip Mousses glided on nicely. They are soft and comfortable. And the glosses are beautiful. Also want to shout out the... Where did it go? The Morphe um, Euphoric Blush in the shade Staying Neutral. This is definitely going to become something that is more everyday for me. This is beautiful, like beautiful. And it's unfortunate that products like this are like limited edition. So with the lip kits and the blush, I almost feel like I want to pick up a backup just in case. Do I go through lip products or blushes like that? No. But those were really some great standout products to me. Of course, like with eyeshadow palettes, I don't feel the need to re, you know, to re-up on them because I feel like I have so many eyeshadow palettes, I'm going to have these forever because I don't go through eyeshadow like that. But everything from Morphe gets a 10 out of 10. The NYX Face Glue Primer and Setting Spray. Do you need it? No. Um... It was nice, but I did notice some patchiness with the blush and bronzer when I first initially applied it. Um, but it was very easily fixable, and I think because the primer is definitely like... It's a different type of tacky from the e.l.f. Power Grip or the Milk Hydro Grip. It's, it's a different feeling to it, so that could be why. It's a learning curve with it, but everything still worked out very nicely. Um... I will continue to use the products, but I don't think that they are a necessary buy. They're not something I will repurchase. So that concludes today's makeup video, you guys. Also, um, with the Juvia's Place loose powders, I do want to pick up the shade Vanilla Bean, which is the next shade after Coconut Flakes. I feel like Coconut Flakes is, that thing is bright. So I feel like I will always have to kind of go in and correct um, the powder. But I will pick up Shea Vanilla Bean. I'm trying to wait until they get into Ulta because I don't want to order from Juvia's Place website. It's just easier to order on Ulta. But yes, you guys, that concludes the look. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you all stay safe, be blessed, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.